New this morning, Hurricane Michael did significant damage in the Gulf Coast region, and it's having an impact on the seafood industry. CBS 42 News reporter Conan Gasqui joining us now live in Vestavia Hills. So, Conan, you caught up with a local seafood market. So, how is this affecting them? Well, it's making it difficult for them to get things like Apalachicola oysters. Those are pretty hard to come by right now. But even more difficult for the folks here at Snapper Grabbers is coming by Grouper. That's something very popular for them, but it's difficult for them to come by that right now in part, of, in part because of the uh, difficulties resulting from Hurricane Michael. Michael, uh, Grouper is a big part of their business here. The hurricane is making it difficult to find. but. That was already a problem recently, which is due to the red tide in Florida this year. The levels of that type of algae have been very high. It's killed a lot of fish, so that was a problem already. And now Hurricane Michael is making things even more difficult, especially with grouper. Sometimes I can teach people and turn them onto a different fish. Sometimes I can't, and so it affects our business because a lot of people, if it's not grouper and it's not something that they're familiar with, they're not going to branch out. And as mentioned, Hurricane Michael is also making it difficult to find Apalachicola oysters right now, which are one of the most popular types in this area. Now, the effects of Hurricane Michael don't necessarily mean you won't be able to find oysters and grouper and other types of fish that you're used to finding, but if you go to certain places, you may not necessarily be able to find the local varieties that you're used to finding in the past while seafood markets and restaurants deal with the effects of Hurricane Michael. Live in Vestavia, Count on Yasqui, CBS 42 News. Local coverage you can count on.